to the show, everybody. We are live with live guests on the show. Yes, yes. yes. I am so ready, man. I am so ready to be back with Cooking with Rico, Cooking on the Rico Show. And you know, I'm Rico, the cook. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, everybody. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe. Right. I must have to say that multiple times, but I am ready to go today. Hope you are too. Yes, so. Let's get it on. Hit it. My guest, my live guest for the Cooking with Rico show, and we have, of course, we have Patty Lopez and we have my man Marco Hernandez. So, Patty Lopez, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Patty, and I live in McKinley Park, and I work at R4 Management. It's a records management company in Bridgeport. So, if you need any type of shredding or any kind of scanning or recycling done, please feel free to look us up. I'm very happy to be uh, a guest on Cooking with Rico, my personal friend, <laughs> awesome chef. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your show. My pleasure. My pleasure. Welcome to my show. Okay, now we're here with my man Marcos Hernandez. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. It's Marco Hernandez. I work for Luber Motors out of Lincolnwood, where we service Mercedes, Benz, and Porsche. And it's been a pleasure here to hang out with Cooking with Rico on the Cooking with Rico show. Thank you, sir. You guys ready to eat? Yes, we are. Ready. Yeah, me too. I'm ready to eat as well, too, but I ain't gonna cook it first. Let's get it on. Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm ready to cook. I just wanna let you know, I had to take a deep breath because the food that I'm gonna be cooking today for my live guests is gonna be insane. Insanely delicious. But I'm gonna be actually cooking a rack of lamb, and then I'm gonna actually have a little bit of honey, parsley, uh, a little bit of oregano as well too, so I'm gonna cook that for you. Um, and also, I'm gonna um, have that on top of some mashed potatoes, so yellow mashed potatoes, but they're gonna be drizzled with olive oil and Parmesan cheese. So, and we're gonna top that off with some chives at the end. Then I'm gonna throw some a little bit of bread on there as well too, toast it up a little bit good for you, and hopefully you guys like that. You guys ready? All right, yeah, okay, cool. All right, yeah, I'm ready too. All right, okay. We're gonna actually, we rinsed off our lamb, the rack of lamb. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you pat this down, flip it on both sides. The whole objective as far as with, with the lamb, you wanna make sure that when you're cutting it down with your very great knife, you wanna make sure that you actually cut it down as far as the feeling behind it making sure that you cut all the way through. See that? You have to be able to feel your way through when you're cutting that lamb. Because you don't want to cut through the bone area, but you're gonna have to cut enough to keep cutting the meat. See that? Okay, so let's get down with the ingredients, everybody. So the thing that about, you know, making sure that you cut up all of uh, the rack of lamb, now we're gonna actually marinate. So you have the choice of marinating it from 30 minutes to overnight, if you wish. Of course, the longer the better, you know, it's gonna be even better and juicier and tender. But no matter what, if you do it for 30 minutes, it's good too. So here is what we're gonna add into our marinade. We're gonna do two and a half, um, tablespoons of soy sauce. You guys like soy sauce? Yeah? Oh, okay. I think they do. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> cool. So two and a half. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in, of course, the nice honey, right? We're going to do two tablespoons of honey. So you guys like honey too? 
I really love honey. I just don't like the bees. The bees. <laughs> right, the bees, bees. right. <laughs> right. So we're gonna add two. Actually, you know what? Better yet, because I have at least eight of those, I'm gonna add in another one. Let's do it, baby, yeah. All right, let's add in a little bit of more honey. You know, garlic just, you know, saves my life. You know what I mean? Because garlic, well, I tell you, it tastes so good as far as with marinades, but also if you're just seasoning, just in general, it goes really well. Now, you can also put whatever type of seasoning that um, you want to go with it, but garlic just tends to bring out that bam, you know, like my man Emerald does. So, so I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do one tablespoon of that, and that should be good. I'm gonna throw some parsley in there as well. So I'm gonna do some parsley flakes, and then the oregano. I'm gonna throw some oregano in there as well too. We got a nice and I wouldn't say you got a lot of spices going on up in there as well. So we're gonna mix that together, and this is gonna be our marinade that we're gonna actually use. And once we start to sear it, you see exactly what it what it looks like, and hopefully it smells good. <laughs> One of the great things about marinating, you, you should be able to smell that like right away, especially how, based on how close you are, right? Based on how close you are. The Ziploc bag. Yeah, so the Ziploc bag is what we're gonna actually use. So. That was actually the end. So, which one of you guys want that one? <laughs> Marco said, you will split it, right? <laughs> oh, you're so nice. Okay, zip that baby up. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you get all around. Make sure that, cause you see that there's a little bit of air pockets in there. Open it up. In there. And if you see some in the corner trying to get away, and she said, hey, go the other way. <laughs> so there's also different types of spices like lamb rubs as well that you can actually, you know, actually put in a Ziploc bag, but also you can actually season it on top and then just rub the lamb, baby. All right, let's get while our lamb uh, lollipops, AKA the lamb is marinating for at least 30 minutes to hour, to wherever you would like, uh, we're gonna actually start off with uh, the mashed potatoes. So here are the ingredients. So what I'm doing is I'm going to actually cut up uh, at least maybe four to five um, large yellow potatoes. And then I have two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna actually add in maybe one to two uh, tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and also maybe two of milk. There's one too. Now, you may say, man, two tablespoons of milk. That doesn't sound right. Well, because of the size that we're gonna actually use, we don't want it to over, you know, over like, you don't want it like too creamy, right? You wanna make sure it's nice and smooth and good. Cause I wanna make sure that Patty and Marcos are ready to eat this and it's not like soup, right? So we wanna make sure it's nice and chunky because I want them to come back again for some food. Yeah, I, I like that. All right. so. I'm doing old school style because that's the way my mom actually did it as well too when she was in the kitchen. And you know, I don't use like the regular, you know, they got the, the new gadgets, right? Y'all ever seen those gadgets? Yeah. The gadgets, right? Mm -hmm. Those gadgets are just like, you know, they they like peel the potatoes in less than a minute. I'm like, you know, blood, sweat, and tears on my potatoes, right? That's what I say. That's what my mom used to do in, uh, in the kitchen, right? So thanks to my mom, you know, she told me, if you're gonna actually cut up some potatoes, make sure you do it right. Don't be going out there getting those um, those tools to be able to do it for you. Do it like it's homemade. You're gonna appreciate it more. And I said, mom, you know, I think so. I think I'm gonna appreciate it more. So that's why I'm doing this, because my mom told me to. <laughs> my mom told me to. So, you know, when your mom tells you something, you always gotta remember it, right? You always have to remember it and go from there. What we're gonna do 
potato as far as with the potatoes, I'm gonna actually cut these up in half and quarters, right? So. Right, once we transfer these over to the pot, um, we're gonna actually let them boil on high and then let them simmer as well too. We're gonna bring it down low so it can actually simmer as well. And then once we let them simmer, we're gonna let them simmer until like 15 to 20 minutes, okay? Do what's really dream. Potato. cast iron time let's get it so we're gonna actually <clears throat> fry all eight right we're gonna do four at a time right so we're gonna actually sear these um, so it's really up to you you can do three uh, minutes per side but up to your taste so make sure that uh, I'm gonna actually do medium well as far as for my guests right and then throw a little char on it as well so uh, cast iron if you have one use it right or you can actually grill them as well too so i think my marinade is ready so now we're gonna take these to the cast iron let's go i'm gonna turn it on medium heat okay so now let's put these babies before the time We're gonna let those sear for at least maybe three minutes each side. Okay, so now as we get ready to serve, I am going to place the mashed potatoes in the middle here. And we're gonna add the drizzle. Mix that in and add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. All right, so at this time, now here is the moment of truth. The objective is to be able to get Marcos, what do you think? You can't wait to try it. <laughs> so that is the first one. Okay, so now Marcos and Patty is ready to taste my food. So, Marcos, enjoy. Patty, enjoy. Thank you. Please, when pro vegetables. Cook correctly. Mm -hmm. It's not raw or anything. Mm -hmm. I like the uh, 
seasoning of the soy sauce, you can taste it right away. Okay. Have they had the mashed potatoes yet? But I want to say. Okay. Okay. I found that everything was great. The potatoes were nice and fluffy, and the lamb was um, seasoned perfectly and cooked great. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Potatoes also good. You like potatoes? Potatoes are very great. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. I want to thank you guys and thank my live guests for being on the show with us today. Thank you guys so much. And you already know it, your boy. Cooking with Rico. Rico, that's me again. I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I know you love it. Me too. I'm out. See you guys later. Thank you guys. Let me know what that bread tastes like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so how's the, how's the, how's the bread? Yeah, what do you think? One potato, two potato. Hey, everybody. Hey, we had a great, great show today. And I had to throw that in there because it was all about mashed potatoes today. And I hope that you guys had a great time. You better have a great time. I had a great time. Yes. So make sure that you have a great time and you great have a great time and everybody else have a great time. How many times am I going to say you have a, I hope you had a great time? As many times as you need to subscribe to my channel, baby. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you click on that notifications. Tell everybody that Rico is cooking around here. Through Sao and Mijente. So make sure you do that and tell everybody and their grandmother to get in the kitchen with me and cook with me. I don't care where you're from, it's YouTube.